Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would like to talk a little bit about AI plugins for Photoshop, which specialize in retouching. So this is something which is probably going to be ongoing topic for a little bit. Um, it seems like the AI is taking over every aspect of our life. And this is something where we have to get used to it and we have to start exploring it, see what can do for us, how this whole thing can help us with our photography, can speed up the process of, for example, retouching our images. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to dive in into AI plugins and see how they can help us with retouching our images. And about two weeks ago, I was approached by the company called Retouch For Me. And this company specializes in plugins for Photoshop, which helps you with the retouching process. And I was extremely interested into this because retouching is a huge part of our business. I was interested to see if it can help me with my retouching process. And of course, I'm interested to especially speed up the process of retouching because it's extremely time consuming for a lot of photographers and if this can help us to retouch our images faster it's of course going to benefit everything what we do and going to save us a lot of lot of time so this company specializes in so many different plugins and at this point they offered me a couple of them to test so the first one i chose was dodge and burn and the reason was because I think that dodge and burn is the most time consuming element of the retouching process. And if I can save time in dodge and burn, then of course the rest of it is much, much quicker and I can retouch my images much, much faster. And the second one I have chosen was the skin tone. And the reason was that a lot of photographers, including myself, sometimes we have extreme issues with getting this right tonality and right colors. I know after a while when you can get used to it, you train your eye and you see things better, it's much, much easier. But for those photographers who are starting off, this is something which is extremely challenging because they don't know what colors are right, what's their end goal is sometimes, and that's why where they struggle the most. So if we can have some kind of plugin which can help us to get those skin tones right, it's going to be extremely beneficial. It's going to help us to get this done, not only quicker, but also to get that done right. So let's dive it into Photoshop and um, let's kind of analyze it. And before we do that, as you probably can see, this company have all sorts of different plugins. They, for example, have a plugin for eye vessels, um, healing process, cleaning backdrop. There's those tons of stuff. I didn't have a chance to check all of them. I hope at some point I'm going to be able to do that. They allow me to pick two and I thought I'm going to pick those ones which are the most important for me when it comes to the retouching headshots. So let's jump into the Photoshop and then we're going to test them and then we're going to see how they perform and also we're going to compare those to my retouching. If this is better, worse, the same, let's take a look and see how this whole thing is going to impact our images. Okay, so we are in Photoshop and I choose this image. I hope you guys are going to like it. There's a lot of emotion going on on that image. But the reason I choose that image because there's a lot of things going on here. And that's why I wanted to pick something which is going to be a little bit more challenging for AI. And we're going to see how it's going to perform. So the first thing what we have to do when we purchase those plugins, we have to set them up. It's really easy. You have to just download the uh, file and follow the process of setting this whole thing up. And this whole thing is gonna be automatically put into your Photoshop and it's gonna show up in filters. And on the bottom of your filters, there's another link which calls Retouch For Me. And as you probably can see here, I have Retouch For Me, Dodge and Burn and Skin Tones. So this is really easy, convenient. You don't have to do any crazy stuff. It's gonna automatically go to your Photoshop and you can start working on it right away. Let's start with our image. So I just wanna point it out a couple things. First of all, I did a little bit of healing on the image because there were some stuff on the skin and I want to make sure that the skin is a little bit more cleaner. There's also AI plugin for healing process. I don't have that so that's why I didn't use it but I've decided to do it just to kind of have the skin a little bit more cleaner. So I've done this fairly quickly and now we can work on this image. So I'm going to create another layer and we're going to name it Dodge and Burn AI. Perfect. So the layer is ready. We're going to click on it and now it's 
extremely easy process. We have to go to Retouch Me link here. We're going to click on Dodge and Burn. And as you probably can see right now, there's another little panel and it's going to work on the image right away. And it's going to take literally a few seconds. And this whole thing is done. Let's click Apply. Perfect. So the whole process is done. So let's take a look at it closely. This is before. So we can see that there is some dodge and burn down to the image, but let's kind of analyze it a little bit deeper because at first glance, this whole thing looks pretty cool. Let's zoom out and take a look. Definitely there's something down here, but let's take a closer look. So what are we going to do? I'm going to our action. We're going to run my dodge and burn. We're going to pretty much just remove those two layers because we're not going to work on that image. And I'm going to create curves. So basically what I'm doing right now, we're going to analyze this whole thing from a little bit of different perspective. We're going to work with different darkness and brightness of the image to see which portion of the image were done and which were not done. So let's take a closer look. We're going to go to curves. And now what are we going to do? I'm going to darken the image. So now I can clearly see where AI perform their dodge and burn. We're going to make this even darker. So there is some areas which are missed. Like for example, here we can really clearly see that this whole thing, it's not done 100%. It seems like there are some leftovers. The same on the forehead. Let's take a look. Done a little bit, but not as precise, I would think so. Okay, let's go to shadows. The same thing. Some of those areas here, you guys clearly see that the, the dodge and burn is not performed. And let's look at here. This entire area on her cheek where the shadows are, seems like there's completely nothing done. So it seems like the AI perform really good dodge and burn on the highlights and some of the bright parts of the skin. But when it comes to the shadows, this whole thing is completely left out. So that's something which it's not big of a deal, but it's just very, very soft dodge and burn. It's not something that goes really, really deep. And we also have to look at the image that this girl's skin is fairly clean. So I don't know how this whole thing would perform or someone who has much, much rougher skin where there is more all those elements which should be clean up. Okay, so let's kind of clean this up here. So we're gonna just basically delete those. Perfect. And now we're going to take a look at the dodge and burn I've done. We're going to turn that off. So this is what I've done. Perfect. Take a look before and after. You see, manually, you can really dive deep into all those areas. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to show you how precisely you can do this manually. So let's create curves. Perfect. So as you probably can see in all those areas here, I've cleaned it up this much more precisely. Perfect. Let's go to the curves. Let's go to the shadows areas. You see, especially this area where all the shadows are, I could really dive in deep and just clean this up much more precise. Perfect. So let's kind of make a comparison. And let's look. So that was AI. That's my dodge and burn. You can see probably huge difference. The AI did literally just a very, very tiny dodge and burn. It's not heavy. I was trying to also test it and do this over and over again, but I was getting the same results. So if you even run this couple times or three times, it's going to get the same results. Okay. So now let's do the skin tones for the image. So we're going to copy this. And now we're going to go to filter, retouch me, 
and we're going to go to retouch me skin tone. And it's going to perform right away. Okay, let's do apply. Perfect. Let's see before and after. So to be honest, I really don't see much of a difference. The one thing what I see is there is a little bit of clearness when it comes to the color. So remove tiny bit of red, but that's pretty much everything. So it seems like the skin has this one nice tonality, but didn't do any major changes to it, which is great. I think that's good. So that also tells me that the skin tones are fairly good. So now let's see what I've done when it comes to change the tonality of the skin and the entire image. So that was original image and that's what I've done. So I know this is only skin tonality, but I also change a little bit of background, uh, but also the skin tonality looks completely different. Uh, you can have way more control over the skin tonality, the background tonality. You can really add to your image the specific feel, which I think is extremely important, especially if you want to create this specific mood for the image. I think having way better control over the image. And what I've done here, I've run through selective color a couple times. I increased the contrast and I also work on the background. So let's turn on the background a little bit. And we can see also, this is my approach to skin tonality. So I went much, much more deeper into this and I've created completely different mood to the image. Some people might like it, some people might don't like it, but I also think that uh, this is extremely important to have a full control over the image and being able to create this color tonality which you like and you can just kind of shift it completely different directions. Okay, so what is my opinion on those plugins? I think they good, don't take me wrong. I think they do fantastic job, but they do very, very subtle and very basic stuff. It's not going to any extremes. It's not going into some level where you have kind of a little bit more control. Also what I've noticed and I've pointed out this already, it does really good job when it comes to the highlights and the places where there is brightness to the skin. As soon as it gets into those shadowy areas, the places where it's a little bit darker, this whole thing is completely left out. So this is something what I want to say to even people who are working on those plugins, that maybe that's going to be the next step to make sure that those plugins also work really, really well on those shadowy areas. When it comes to the skin, Tone, um, as you probably noticed, this is something which is, again, something very, very basic, very subtle. This is not something which is going to drastically change your image, but also you don't really have a much of a control. You, like, you are completely at the mercy of this AI plugin, and whatever it does, you either have to like it or you have to just take this to the next level by manual adjusting colors or tones and all this stuff. So what my conclusion is. So what I want to say, if you have tons of tons of images and you have to go through them quickly, this is going to be amazing tool to get this done properly, but with the very, very subtle taste. You don't have to go kind of crazy with those images. And I think that's great. So if you want to speed up your process of the retouching and you don't really worry about diving deep in some of those things, then this is going to be amazing solution for the retouching process. But if you want to do some major retouching or you're going to have someone with some skin problems, I don't know if this is going to be enough to get this done right. But again, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But again, I think this is good, really good start. It's worth it. Um, I'm going to basically put the link in the description. If you're interested to purchasing those plugins, please feel free to do so. I think there's even some um, discount with that link. So please feel to use it. But the question is, which is going to be remaining, if this is good enough for the quality you're looking for. So that's just something which I'm going to leave you out and you have to think about it and see also how much time you spend on the retouching, how much of the quality you 
looking for and then you have to make a um, decision which direction you want to go so overall i think this is a good start i think this is going to get better and better and better and i deeply believe with the time uh, this whole thing is going to just drastically change our retouching process and hopefully we will be able to just basically pass this whole thing to ai and it's going to do the job but at this point i still think the ai does just a really really basic stuff and we still have to wait to the moment where it's going to be a little bit more advanced at least for my taste so this is just in my opinion um, if you have any questions any concerns anything you would like to add to this or you want to share your opinion uh, please feel free to either reach out to me uh, send me email text message or uh, you can just drop the comment under the video and I'm going to respond to it and we're going to have a discussion. So thank you for watching. I hope that was interesting. Stay tuned and I'll chat with you guys very, very soon. Take care and bye-bye.